and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at steel testing. In this video we're going to be focusing on checking steel toughness. Before we jump into the details, let's have a look who this video is really for. Now, if you are designing a component from steel, you really should understand what toughness means and how it affects steel attributes to ensure your final product meets all the design criteria and requirements ensuring product safety. So let's have a look at toughness testing. Checking steel toughness. Now toughness and strength sound like similar qualities. In fact, while both measure a metal's ability to stand up under stress, they are in fact very different from one another. Toughness measures a metal's ability to maintain its integrity while being pressed, pulled or deformed. A metal that can be bent without breaking is tougher than a metal that will break rather than bend. Strength, on the other hand, is a measure of the amount of force required to bend a metal. Some metals are easily bent and are thus valuable for jewellery and similar uses. Others are extremely strong and are thus valued for use in large structures. One important factor to consider is there are numerous steel alloys and different grades of steel and each with differing toughness. Here we are talking in general terms and not referencing any particular grade of steel. Toughness is a measure of how much energy a metal can absorb before rupturing or fracturing. It also relates to the ability of the metal to bend without breaking. You can see in these two images here a typical tough piece of material where it is bending and a brittle piece of material which is fracturing. So how do we test toughness? Toughness is commonly measured by an impact test known as the Sharpie V-notch test or the CVN for short. In standard, CVN testing is a 10mm by 10mm squared bar which has a V shaped notch machined in one side. A hammer swung from a large pendulum will strike the side opposite the notch. If the metal does not break, the level of energy is increased until the metal does break. Once the Sharpie impact machine breaks the bar, the amount of energy required to cause the rupture is recorded, giving a measurement of toughness in pound feet. The Sharpie impact machine measures the energy required to break the specimen as results are shown in joules. You can see a typical setup on this graphical representation here on the right. As you can see here with this test operator, the size of the machine is the size of a human and the size of that anvil is large. So let's have the effects of temperature on impact strength. An impact toughness versus temperature graph for a steel is shown on the right. At low temperatures, the material is more brittle and impact toughness is low. At high temperatures, the material is more ductile and impact toughness is higher. The transition temperature is the boundary between brittle and ductile behavior and this temperature is often an extremely important consideration in the selection of material. And you can imagine if you've got a steel structure that you are building in a hot country or and in cold country, this is really important data to consider. If you found this video interesting, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell symbol so you get notified whenever we upload new content. Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams from Southeast, and I shall see you in the next video.